Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jules. Today I'm gonna to be reviewing and demoing the new eyebrow pencil from Hourglass, specifically the Archbrow Micro Sculpting Pencil. There was no way I was gonna remember that, so I had to read it. Anyway, I'm going to be doing a review on this eyebrow product, so if you want to see a demo of me using this product and a review and my thoughts on this product, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right guys, here I am with yet another new brow product. I feel like brow products are like foundations these days. I feel like someone's dropping a new one every week. So when I saw the ad for this specific eyebrow pencil, I really wanted to try it because it claimed that it gave you that sculpted look that microblading gives you. I really wanted to try it out. I don't have the outer packaging sitting up here with me, but here is the eyebrow pencil right here. It comes in the standard bronzy kind of packaging that Hourglass typically has. This product goes for $28 and it has 0 0.001 ounces in it. This does have a considerably smaller amount than the Brow Wiz or the Urban Decay one. So that is my only gripe about the product. It doesn't have very much of it. And I feel like for as much as I use the product, it's kind of expensive. There are nine shades in the range for the shades of this pencil. I'm gonna go ahead and read you the details of this pencil off of Sephora's website. This is an ultra precise, ultra slim brow pencil, perfect for creating the thinnest hair-like strokes for naturally defined brows. This is free of sulfates, parabens, phthalates, and triclosan and contains less than 1% of synthetic fragrances. This product is also vegan and cruelty free. With the thinnest 1.4 millimeter tip, this uniquely shaped brow pencil gives you all the control with all the payoff. So the reviews or the description sounds really good on the product. The shade that I went with is Natural Black. That is actually the darkest shade in the range. It is said to be darkest brown to black and it's called Natural Black. So that is the shade that I went with. I do have it on right now and I feel like it looks pretty natural and goes along the lines with my natural hair color here. So I really like the shade of it. I will say that I think I like the shade of this one even more than the Brow Wiz. What I wanna go ahead and do is cut to the demo of me applying this onto my brows so you can see a quick demo of me applying them and then you can see the finished look and then I'll be back to talk more about this product. there it was pretty easy to use as far as in comparison to the brow wiz or the urban decay one that i do like i do feel like i like this one better i feel like the tip is unique to any other brow pencil that's a micro tip that i've tried and 
it's not going to be as sharp as it was when I initially bought this, but I think you get a general idea of the tip of this. When you look at it head on right there, and I don't know if my camera is going to pick up on that or not, I'm going to try to, but this has a really fine tip and it has kind of like an oval tip, not a circular tip. So it helps in making those strokes even more defined. So I really like that aspect of this pencil. I do feel like I have a lot of control with where I place the strokes in my brows and I feel like it's very smooth. I haven't experienced any pilling like I do with the Brow Wiz. So in that aspect, I will say that I do like this one better than the Brow Wiz. So all in all, the differences in this one are the tip itself in that it is, I think, probably the finest tip. And I do like the shape of the tip as compared to any other brow pencil in this category. Now compared to the Brow Wiz, this one is considerably more expensive. The Brow Wiz I believe is 19 or 20 and this one is 28. And I believe you're getting less product with the Hourglass one. So that is a negative. Um, I still have not gone through one of these yet. So I do wanna gauge kind of how long it takes me to go through this one as compared to the Brow Wiz. That's gonna take me a while to gauge. So as I go through this, I will let you know how quickly that I ran through this product, but that is my only gripe in that I feel like it is considerably shorter than the Brow Wiz. Let me go ahead and grab my Brow Wiz just so I can compare that. Okay, so these are my favorite as far as high-end or Sephora eyebrow pencils. I've got the Urban Decay Brow Blade right here. I've got the Brow Beater by Urban Decay. I've got the Brow Wiz from Anastasia, and then here's the Hourglass. So if you put them side by side, you see that the Hourglass one is considerably shorter than these other pencils. So when you look at the amount of product, let me look at these other ones just so I can give you a comparison. The Urban Decay Brow Beater has 0.05 ounces in it. Oh no, this one says 0.001 ounces just like the Hourglass one. And then the Anastasia one has 0.003 ounces. And then the Brow Blade, I don't know how that's gonna compare because it's not the same kind of product. This one has 0.0018 ounces in it. So this one has considerably more, but it's not really the same product as the other two. So in comparison, the Brow Wiz definitely has more product than these two. So we'll see, it may be just that this one is fatter maybe than the Brow Wiz. So in comparison to price, it is a little bit more expensive, but I do like the quality of this one more than all of the others, I will honestly say. I feel like the color is better. I feel like the fact that it doesn't pill is better. The Urban Decay one is better than the Anastasia one, but the Hourglass I think takes them all. All in all, I really love this product. I'm gonna to continue to use it. And maybe once I finish with this product, I can give you a better comparison with the other two that are like this. But for now, I really do love the Hourglasses. If there's a new one that you're wanting to try out, then I would definitely recommend the Hourglass. And if this is going up during the Sephora summer bonus sale, now would be a good time to try it because you get either the 15 or the 20% off depending on whether you're VIB or Rouge. Okay, so that is gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment as to what you think of the product in my brows. Let me know if you've tried it. And if you have not had a chance to subscribe yet, please be sure and do that before you leave. I'd love to have you join the family. And as always, I love you guys. Be blessed and I will see you guys in the very next one. Bye.